just before we kick off, I just want to uh, acknowledge that uh, Creative Mornings is uh, joining us uh, today from uh, Treaty One Territory, uh, the traditional lands of the uh, Ojibwe, uh, Cree, Oji Cree, uh, Dakota, and Dene Nations, and homeland to the Red River Metis. Uh, I acknowledge that the water I'm drinking today is sourced from Shoal Lake, uh, 40 First Nation, while at the same time, uh, many of our commu uh, Indigenous communities lack clean drinking water. Um, yeah, um, a special uh, thank you and shout out to Red River College and uh, their American uh, Sign Language class for providing interpretation uh, for our event today. We are connected to our global community by our monthly theme, uh, our hashtags uh, today, if you want to uh, share them, and we certainly encourage you to do that, our uh, hashtag uh, CMWPG uh, and uh, hashtag CMRelease, and uh, on, uh, on Twitter at CM underscore Winnipeg. Uh, as I said earlier, my name is uh, Jonathan Lay. I am uh, the training director at uh, New Media Manitoba. Uh, we are an industry sector council who works with the, uh, the interactive sector here in town. Uh, I've been doing that work for, for a number of years. I'm also a father, uh, an avid cyclist, and uh, yeah, really, really excited uh, about the community that we've, uh, we've grown with these events. And uh, I just want to thank uh, everyone who goes in uh, to making this happen. It's, uh, it's an incredible amount of work. Okay, so um, here's what's going to happen at today's event. Uh, at uh, every Creative Mornings uh, Winnipeg event, we have a, we have a wonderful musical guest. Uh, who joins us to celebrate uh, and uh, showcase the, the the amazing talent we have in in the province? Uh, today's uh, today's musical uh, guest is Sala. Uh, after hearing from uh, from Sala, you will be uh, invited to participate in a poll, and uh, then you're going to join us in some breakout rooms to do an activity on the theme of release. Uh, after 10 minutes in the breakout room, we're going to invite you back to the main stage where we're going to hear from today's uh, speaker, Lise Brown. Uh, while the main presentation is on, uh, like right now, we invite you to keep your camera on because we like to see all the, the, the beautiful faces out there, uh, but to ask that your microphones uh, are muted. So that's what's happening today, uh, but what's happening in the future, uh, we, we have one of these every month. Uh, and uh, next September, uh, we're going to ask you to join us for, for another great session. Uh, this one's going to be on the global theme of DARE, and we're, we're wel welcoming a uh, special guest, uh, Brenda Burns. Uh, mm -hmm. Her talk is called Daring to Stay Creative in a Crisis, uh, Tales of an Accidental Pirate. Uh, tickets are available on the Creative Mornings Winnipeg website, so uh, don't forget to register after this event and uh, make sure you secure your ticket. It's now time to say thank you to our global and local partners. Uh, without them, there is no way we could do this fabulous work in building a community of creativity in Winnipeg. Uh, first up is uh, MailChimp. MailChimp has supported uh, Creative Mornings for 11 plus years now. Um, so thank you, MailChimp. Uh, thank you also to Skillshare, our global partner for online learning. Uh, Skillshare is, in a, is an online learning community that helps uh, millions take their next step on their creative journey. Uh, Jonathan Von Ness uh, is here to help you unlock your most centered and powerful self. Ooh. Skillshare and Jonathan uh, have created an actionable, inspiring class where you can create your own self-care playbook, a set of simple, practical tools to tune in your needs, release your fears, and show the very best version of yourself. You can take this free class with a, a one-month uh, free trial at Skillshare. Wow, oh, that sounds exciting. I can hear someone uh, talking a little bit. I don't know if that's... Uh, um, if you can just mute your microphone, that would be appreciated. Okay, so those are all our big uh, global partners. Uh, let's thank our local partners. Uh, to our Creative Morning, uh, Morning Winnipeg Steering Committee, thank you for your hard work in bringing these events uh, to life every month. Thanks to the, the fabulous team. And uh, I really wasn't joking. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of work uh, <laughs> getting all this stuff done. And Christine and everyone else on the team uh, somehow make it happen uh, every month, uh, even in the summer. So uh, hats off. Uh, and this month, we're super excited to announce the addition of our newest local partner, uh, Padraig uh, Coaching and Consulting. Uh, Padraig uh, Coaching and Consulting provides uh, particularly skilled expertise in leadership development, including one-to-one -one executive coaching and leadership coaching, as well as coach-led peer group leadership programs and leadership courses. Uh, in addition to the program that help individual leaders uh, become great leader leaders, uh, Padraig also helps leadership teams work more cohesively as a team for the good of the organization, uh, moving away from being a group of high flyers, uh, all with their own goals and agendas. Welcome, Patrick, and thank you for being here. And now it's time to stop hear me talk, stop uh, listening to me for a bit, and we're gonna hear something uh, you know uh, probably a lot more soothing to your ears, which is uh, uh, a musical performance uh, by Sala. 
Uh, Sala is a Franco-Manitoban artist. She is a Juno award-winning uh, performer who, has, who is returning after a four-year hiatus. Uh, her intimate, sometimes melancholy jazz, ambient and pop-infused songs tell of anger and forgetting, of shedding one's skin and escaping the everyday to find refuge in imaginary worlds. Uh, she creates by taking in sensations and moods and translating them into images. Uh, her debut EP was released in the fall of 2020. Uh, since our theme today is release, and this first song is very danceable, uh, we invite you to get up and move your body to release uh, some of that, uh, some of those doldrums or early mornings uh, that are still inside you. Uh, you can dance, jump, sway, shake, whatever serves you to release this morning. I hope you enjoy the track. That was great. I really, really miss live music. Uh, gosh, I can't wait to uh, to be able to be in a venue again and uh, and yeah, just enjoy enjoy music and 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 people. So thank you, uh, thank you for that musical track, Sala. That was wonderful. We're going to hear from uh, we're going to hear from them again later in uh, the uh, the program today. Um, so uh, as I, I mentioned earlier, today's uh, this month's theme is a release, and uh, release is a is a universal law. Every buildup of tension uh, must give way. Uh, everything from the flowers to the trees uh, needs to do it to survive. 
uh, release is a critical part of growth, uh, healing, and transformation. I have certainly felt that way uh, <laughs> over the course of the pandemic and that it, uh, it feels like a good time to release a, a lot of uh, baggage or uh, kind of mindsets that I, I used to have and, you know, uh, hygiene as well, dressing properly. I've, I've released all of that. It's all gone. So I, I, feel, I feel very free. Uh, so what happens when we let go of uh, our emotions, our expectations, our habits, our relationships, or thoughts that no longer serve us? Uh, what, what do we do when we release it uh, in ourselves? What do, we, what do we let loose into the world? Um, so Creative Mornings uh, Portsmouth uh, chose uh, this month's theme of release, and, uh, and uh, Ali Runyon uh, illustrated uh, the theme, and uh, it's, a really kind of, uh, it's a really great illustration. It, uh, it does make you feel really good just to look at that scene and imagine floating away in a boat. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little poll and get your thoughts on uh, on release. Um, I've never done this part before, but uh, hopefully uh, hopefully we can uh, fumble our way through this. Uh, so uh, the poll today is uh, what is what is our favorite way to release something? And uh, we we have uh, we have a whole bunch of options here for us. They're popping up on the screen now. Uh, so we have uh, you know what's what's your favorite way to kind of let let uh, let go and to release? Is it a physical movement, uh, exercise, yoga? Is it meditation, uh, prayer, uh, getting quiet? Is it journaling, uh, writing something down? Is it your creative practice? Is it singing or playing music? Uh, is it gardening? Is it being in a social setting? Uh, so yeah, just uh, pick which one uh, you, you feel kind of uh, best uh, exemplifies uh, your, your way of releasing. And uh, hmm, I am going to say, I'm gonna pick, Journaling. So I'm going to uh, put my uh, my theme in the mix there, and uh, my poll is submitted, and uh, everyone can uh, add your your notes there. And I I think Scott that the, the the results will will pop up for everyone to see as well too. I'll be curious to see what uh, how people uh, how people like to let loose. Okay, so now we're at the uh, breakout room activity. Oh, here's the polls now. Oh, physical movement for everyone. Exercise, yoga, and dance. So no one likes being in the garden. It would seem. Hmm. And I guess no one can be in a social setting now. So physical movement. I certainly, uh, I've, uh, I, I bought a dog during the pandemic and, uh, I'm walking that dog incessantly. And, uh, I have literally met people on the zoom, uh, on zoom calls who, who say I'm, I'm the guy who walks the little white dog. So, uh, that has become my, my, my new, uh, moniker in the neighborhood. Uh, so great. Thank you for participating. Um, we're going to do our breakout room activity now too. Uh, so we're going to invite you to step into the breakout rooms, which are named after the color of the pride rainbow flag. Uh, and one breakout room, which uh, should be marked, will have ASL interpretive support. Uh, we're going to do a fun eight minute activity uh, while we're in the room. Uh, we're going to invite you all to share your favorite ways to release and uh, share one recent example of where you released something that was no longer serving you. All right. So welcome back. Um, the breakout rooms. Hope you uh, met some interesting folks and had some uh, had some good conversations. Learned a little bit uh, about your fellow Winnipeggers and uh, fr uh, folks from beyond. Um, so, as one more form of release, we're going to ask you to participate in our uh, coordinated primal scream. Uh, in addition to being a great band from the '90s, uh, primal scream is where you just let it all out um, when you just kind of. You're back to your your cave person state, and uh, you're just uh, releasing all that uh, all that energy that's inside of you, and uh, just uh, sending it out, putting it back into the universe, uh, so you can uh, get rid of uh, an emotion, a frustration, a memory, uh, whatever you need to whatever you need to do to to to, to get out of you. So this is what we're going to ask you to do. Uh, we're going to invite you to put on your videos. We want to see your faces while this happens, but we're going to ask you to click on your mute uh, so you don't uh, blow everyone's uh, earballs out here. Uh, you don't have to scream necessarily, but uh, you can certainly if you want, if you don't have anyone that you're going to terrify in your house. Uh, but we want to see those tonsils. Uh, so um, you can decide based on your environment uh, how loud or how softly you want to scream. If you want to weep quietly, like I often do, you can also do that too, if that's how, how you can get it out. But we want to see we want to see this happening in the camera. And uh, I'm going to give you a second to compose yourself and, and think about what you want to do. Uh, I am going to uh, I'm going to turn on my uh, I, I'm I'm not going to scream. I'm going to count everybody in. Uh, so um, ca uh, cameras on, mics off, please. Um, I'm going to just remove my headphones just a little bit here. Okay. Uh, can thinking... you take the um the the slide off so that we can get a full scream of people? A full scream of there people. Did you hear what I said there? A full screen of people. 
Okay, so think of those terrible things, uh, that, uh, that jerk who uh, hit your car in the, the parking lot, uh, um, you know, that frustration at, at, the, at the office, um, whatever it is, whatever it is you need to get out, let's get rid of it now. Okay, so here we go. I'm counting us in. One, two, three. Whoa. Wow, there was a lot of bad stuff there, that's for sure. It's gone. Let's say goodbye to it. It's gone forever. Uh, I hope you feel some uh, carthesis uh, and uh, are, are ready to attack the weekend with, uh, with, with more gusto. Thanks, uh, thanks for participating uh, in that primal scream. Uh, I, I, I hope you feel a little bit better. Uh, let us know in the chat. Just post us in. Maybe tell us what you got rid of. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so we were originally going to have uh, Suzanne uh, Braun, uh, one of our amazing Creative Mark, uh, Mornings partners, uh, here with us today. Uh, but Suzanne has a, a bad a toothache, uh, so she uh, sends her regrets. Uh, but uh, we've got some. Uh, we've got someone who's going to step in and pinch hit for us. Um, Patrick O'Reilly, who I uh, mentioned earlier in the in the uh, in the presentation, is going to uh, read our Creative uh, Mornings manifesto. So Patrick, take it away. Thanks, Jonathan. All right, so the Creative Mornings Manifesto is that everyone is creative. A creative life requires bravery and action, honesty and hard work. And we are here to support you, celebrate with you and encourage you to make the things you love. We believe in the power of community. We believe in giving a damn we believe in face-to-face -face connections, in learning from others, in hugs, and in high fives. We bring together people who are driven by passion and purpose, confident that they will inspire one another and inspire change in neighborhoods and cities around the world. Everyone is welcome. Thank you, Patrick. Um, we're going to have uh, Christine. Are you going? You're going to read the diversity and inclusion statement. That's correct. Okay. Uh, don't forget to unmute. There we go. The Winnipeg chapter uh, has also made a commitment to reflecting diversity and ensuring inclusion in all of our events. Located in one of the most diverse communities in North America, we are in, as inclusive as we are creative, and we will be creative in order to be inclusive. We believe in the value of the diversity of perspectives, audiences, and industries, as we create safe events to debate and discuss what it means to be creative. We will celebrate multiple approaches and points of view, and we will be mindful and purposeful in building a culture where these differences are not only valued, but celebrated. I'm now also very pleased to introduce our speaker for today. And that's Lise Brown. So Lise is with us today and she has uh, spent a lot of time preparing for this. So thank you very much, Lise, for, your, uh, for being with us today. Lise Brown, she, her, is the co-owner of Momenta Inc. founded in 2006, a small local to Winnipeg, 100% female owned B Corporation. A B Corp, um, as a B Corp, they complete a certification process that ensures high standards of social and environmental performance, accountability, and transparency. Momenta creates experiences that discover strengths and foster growth. They use current best practice research in the field of youth development, trauma-informed care, community care, place-based education, adventure therapy, and experiential education to welcome participants to safer, engaging, meaningful, and challenging programs, trainings, and counseling. With a focus on being outdoors, which is what we're gonna hear about today, increasing success, access to the outdoors, adventure sports, and outdoor certification. They integrate a strengths-based perspective, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's call to action, and a radical inclusion in all aspects of the work done at Momenta. Lise, thank you for joining us today, and we'll turn it over to you. Thanks. I'm just going to share my screen. I'll get that loaded up.
Good morning. I, uh, I have lots of gratitude for, for being here today. Thanks for inviting me and, and allowing me to share my story. And thanks to this beautiful visual to get, get our morning started. It's a very soothing and calming image. So my name is Lise Brown. I am an owner and facilitator at Momenta and I settle into a few roles in my work. I'm a clinical social worker, so I provide clinical direction for our organization. I offer adventure therapy sessions for individuals, families, and groups. I provide training and consulting in the areas of adventure therapy, positive youth development, outdoor education, and forest school. I have an undergraduate degree in rec recreation management and a master's in social work, but I think I learned a lot of what I know on adventures. I love to adventure in the outdoors and have since I was little Lees. Oh, I have to find my mouse. There's little Lees. I was raised in Winnipeg Treaty One territory by my mom and dad. I'm a little sister and auntie and a mama to my son, Tian. To release, to give freedom or free movement to someone or something, to let go, to set free. This is not an easy task for many of us, but I know and the research tells us that the natural world is a phenomenal tool that supports the release of creativity. For me, the natural world has been a constant, my favorite place to be. It is a friend, a mentor, a teacher, and my co-parent. This is my son, Tian, and he did all of the slide transitions for my presentation. So they're very creative in how we transition from slide to slide. So thank you, Tian, for doing that for me. <clears throat> Adventuring in partnership with the natural world has taught me to be patient, to be protective, to let go of power, to be prepared, to accept challenges and to honor my mistakes. The simple act of going outside is a release. I asked my dad what I should say today. And he said two things. The first was, he said, when you're feeling stuck, you got to go outside. And the second was going on an adventure is like project management. The adventure is the easiest part. But the getting ready for the adventure is a really big task. This is great advice coming from my dad, who's very adventurous and also an entrepreneur. When I say outdoor adventure, I am referring to being outside and using physical movement through adventure sports. Ideally, during an adventure, we facilitate experiences that take the participants into the stretch zone. The comfort zone in the middle there feels easy, safe, reliable, relaxed, and secure. The outside ring, the danger zone is stressful, fearful, exhausting, worrisome, scary, and frustrating. The stretch zone is exciting, challenging, full of adrenaline, alive, exhilarating, and dreamy. What we know about outdoor adventures is that if we can get to the stretch zone, we spark a love for outdoor adventures and leave with participants wanting more. The stretch zone is a great place to be. It's where we feel the most alive, the most creative, and the most confident. For those of us who have chosen a career of leading outdoor adventures, we know that this takes a pretty big skill set. 
Many young people who have worked at camps talk about how they learned everything they need to know to thrive in life at summer camp. Outdoor adventure guides are route planners, menu planners, cooks, first aiders, fire builders, tent putter uppers, gear carriers, social and emotional support, mediators, mentors, driving drivers who can back up trailers, navigators, weather readers, waste managers, risk managers, decision making makers, storytellers, flora and fauna identifiers, bear watch, shelter builders, campsite managers, just to name a few. My early years of leading outdoor adventures taught me a lot about myself, that I was strong and confident, talented and resilient, and I was in the stretch zone a lot. It felt awesome. I had a lot of experience with hundreds of days in the field, but despite, despite all that, there was something missing for me. Where's my mouse? There it is. <clears throat> what I noticed was a feeling of not being good enough. And second to my male co-guides, I noticed that everyone who taught me about outdoor adventures were men. I also noticed a lack of acknowledgement of the land we had ventured on and the colonial history of that land. And I never had the best or the lightest gear to join into the who has the best gear conversations. In 2006, I found myself at a conference put on by the Association of Experiential Educa Education. And for the first time, I met a group of women and non-binary folks who led with humility, who were badass outdoor educators and who considered feminism, social justice, and land justice in the field. My hesitancies about outdoor education were validated for the first time in my career. What a release. That conference sparked my creativity and gave me the confidence to think differently, to give a damn, to create outdoor adventures that reduced barriers, were mindful and humble. What a release. I was vibrating with creativity. That same year, Momenta was co-created by myself and Sarah Harrison, a woman I had guided a few trips with and who noticed the same things I did. We had no idea how to run a business, but that felt like the least of our worries. We had a good idea and our creativity was buzzing. We came up with the name Momenta, which is the feminine and plural of momentum. We came up with a general idea of what our services would be and we picked a set of values that we wanted to lead by. I had no idea how important our values would become. Fast forward 15 years, Momenta continues to be a small, local to Winnipeg, 100% female owned, value driven organization. We offer adventure therapy, outdoor education and forest school programs, outdoor certifications, professional development, consulting and counseling. Our values are at the heart of our creativity. They keep our team grounded and keep us on a good path to giving a damn in the outdoor industry. As I said before, these values have been with us for 15 years. Most of our team would agree that the values we lead by at Momenta have followed us home to our families and friends. At Momenta, we have fun. We take care of each other. We are respectful. We join in and we are safe. We have fun, which means we are engaging, we are adventurous, and we are passionate. I don't know a lot of other organizations that prioritize having fun. In the early 2000s, Sarah and I spent a lot of time with groups and tents, on the water, and in different outdoor places. We also spent a lot of time being physically and emotionally exhausted and on the road traveling to different communities and camps to deliver programming. 
There was a day when we were in a truck in Northern Manitoba and we were in a spiral of negativity. It didn't feel good and it wasn't helpful. We were having a bumpy adventure. I remember this moment of looking at each other and knowing that we had to do better. So we made a commitment to minimizing our complaining so that we could get back to having fun, to being solution focused and not to miss out on the adventurous career we had chosen. Leading to values is intentional. It takes effort and becomes intuitive. That moment of intentionally choosing to have fun was a game changer, a huge release. I can't sit here and tell you that I haven't complained about something in the past 15 years, but I can tell you that I see humor and or hope in most situations because I have chosen to have fun. What a release. When we invite people in to experience outdoor adventures with us, fun is a priority. Laughter is a release. Joy is a release. Play is a release. Being a female business owner in the outdoor industry is challenging. Without intentionally choosing to have fun, I'm not sure we'd still be here. Outdoor adventures are fun, and sometimes stillness in the natural world is fun too. Getting into the stretch zone feels fun. What a release. We take care of each other. We are approachable. We are mentors. We are community. If given more time, I could tell you countless stories of feeling taken care of or taking care of others during my time at Momenta. Our goal is for staff to role model professional caring relationships and for the participants to feel taken care of and to do their best to practice caring relationships with one another. When our team is together, it often feels like we are family and we witness community care where individuals are aware and are caring for the collective, often without being asked. Taking care of each other also means being allies for each other and our participants and, sorry, being allies for each other and our participants and creating space for everyone. When we release ourselves from the pressures of self-care and allow the community to care for us, it feels real good. What a release. We are respectful, which means we are inclusive. We lead with humility. We are strengths focused. This value is huge and encompasses many things. Acknowledging first that it is one of the seven sacred laws, which reminds us that we have been taught through reciprocal relationships to respect each other and the land. At Momenta, we continue to witness storylines that affect the outdoor industry and the lack of equity within it. The outdoor adventure industry does not adequately acknowledge and protect ancestral lands. The outdoor adventure industry is led primarily by white males. The outdoor adventure industry has numerous barriers to participation. Ooh. <laughs> These stories are not respectful. We have witnessed and experienced a need for an increase in respect within this field. We notice that what is missing is inclusion, anti-racism, anti-transphobia, feminism, climate action, truth and reconciliation, living wages and social justice. We are challenging the narrative to create respectful programs and a workplace that allows for the outdoor industry to look and feel different for participants to engage with the land through adventure activities in a way that feels right. One of the ways that supports us to do this has been our B Corp certification. Within our B Corp goals, we have prioritized understanding colonial history and the original intentions of the treaties. We have prioritized ethical employment policies to diversify the field. 
we have prioritized access to outdoor adventures. What a release. We join in. We are purposeful. We are authentic. We are accountable. Join in means that we create space where people can authentically join in to conversations, therapy, activities, and outdoor adventures. When we ask for folks to join in, we have to be ready to create experiences where people feel like they can join in. This means that we have to be open to different ways that people join in. This means that we have to listen when someone feels like they can't join in. This means that sometimes it's really difficult to join in and that's okay. Joining in should be a choice. Joining in will look, sound, feel, and be different for each individual we are with. What a release. We are safe. We are professional, we are guided by best practice, and we have good judgment. To truly offer safe, professional outdoor adventures, a leader has a lot to think about for their own and the participants' physical, emotional, and spiritual safety. Remember the danger zone? The danger zone is important to hang out in very briefly because it helps us to understand our limits. But we don't wanna to spend too much time in there. The danger zone doesn't feel safe. It can be what makes or breaks our relationship with outdoor adventures. Good outdoor adventure guides know this and teach to this. They support us to get into our stretch zones because the stretch zone is where we feel challenged, but we also feel safe. It's a great release. Thank you. <laughs> That was wonderful, Elise. Thank you. I'm going to turn it over to Jonathan. I'll stop sharing my screen. <laughs> Jonathan, you're on mute. There we go. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. What a wonderful presentation. Uh, one of the, the be many benefits of this uh, of, of this uh, meetup group is learning about things that you otherwise wouldn't have uh, learned about. And this is a uh, Certainly uh, was very interesting to, for someone like me who, who never gets outside and uh, for, for, all sorts of, <laughs> for all sorts of reasons, but it, from the photos and uh, from uh, the mandates that you've set for yourself, it, it just looks like such a wonderful opportunity to, to connect people with, with outdoor spaces. And I, I never saw the, uh, the inherent uh, inequality uh, with, with access there, but I do now. So, so thank you for enlightening me. Um, yeah. So uh, that uh, that kind of uh, concludes our um, our presentation for today. But you you don't have to you don't have to leave. Um, you can hang out for a while, which is always kind of fun. Um, so thanks again for everyone uh, for for taking part today. Uh, and uh, we're going to be remember remember we're going to be welcoming welcoming uh, Brenda Burns uh, next week on the the theme of dare. Uh, I I do have like a very quick anecdotal story that I hope you'll indulge me with. Uh, many many years ago, uh, like twenty years ago, I was as a kid I was wandering through the exchange district and uh, I passed this open door and I I saw I saw this uh, saw this woman working on some artistic piece uh, and uh, she was she was so striking and I, I, it was one of those things where you like you walk past and you're like oh, did I did I did I imagine that or was it true? But uh, it was true because it it, it was Brenda. Uh, I I recognized her from twenty years ago. <laughs> so. There you go. Uh, you you stuck in my head all those all those years, and it was it was always a very striking image of of what I imagined an, an artist to be uh, at that at that time in my life. So I'm I'm super excited about uh, next week's or next month's uh, presentation. Uh, so remember to grab your tickets uh, at the uh, Creative uh, Mornings uh, website uh, so you can uh, join in on the fun uh, next month. Uh, remember to upload your screenshots and your tags to Instagram and Twitter and uh, wherever else uh, people uh, you know, put these sorts of things. Uh, feel free to share, get the word out. We, we, we'd love to uh, we'd love to get even more uh, folks and your hopefully your friends out at the next one. Uh, so before we kind of conclude the, the, the event, we're going to uh, we're going to invite you to consider something that you want to release this month. 
and uh, then choose a means to make that happen. Uh, if you want to document how you uh, do that, uh, remember just to uh, to tag it in your uh, in your post. And the hashtags once again are uh, um, CM Winnipeg or CM WPG and CM Release. So uh, we're going to close uh, with another song by Sala. Uh, like earlier, uh, we invite you to dance or sway or uh, you know grab a puppy, grab a child, and then move around a little bit. Uh, that is strongly encouraged. And uh, the formal program is done, but feel free to, uh, to listen to the music and then hang out uh, and chat with our speaker and other folks from the event. Uh, think of it as the, uh, the kitchen party at the end of the, uh, the, end of the, the main party. Uh, come in and wind down and uh, before you uh, head off to the offices of uh, virtual or real. And uh, once again, thank you. Have a great weekend. And we look forward to seeing you back in, uh, in, in September. Take care, everyone. Oubliant l'automne et tous ses regrets, les pommes qui nourrissent mon manque d'intérêt. Oublions l'écho des heures allongées. Et ce sentiment de nous être égarés Si je pouvais oublier tout ce qui nous a cassés Toutes les cicatrices Oh,